Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is early fall right now and a lot of the zinnias are beginning to become diseased and need to be taken out soon. But I thought it would be the perfect time to show you the difference between the growth of the zinnias when you pinch versus when you don't pinch. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of my zinnias that I planted first and I did pinch them and then some that I direct seeded and things got busy with the garden and I didn't pinch them. So if you're interested in seeing those differences, stay tuned. Okay, so it's a little sunny out here and it may be hard to see, but I will come in close for you. But first I wanted to stand here and just explain. Here I have about 10 zinnias on this side of the garden here and one, two, three of them I pinched when they were about six inches tall. And then the other ones I did not. And the ones that I didn't and I direct seeded, I direct seeded only a few days after transplanting the first few and those were growing a couple weeks but still I mean there's just a massive difference between the ones that were pinched back and the number of stems and the ones that were not pinched back and the ones that were pinched back not only do they still have tons more stems but I have been able to uh, harvest many 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 more flowers off of those I've been making a ton of bouquets giving them to my neighbors, you know, all of those things all summer. I've collected so many for just seed saving. So it is definitely worth it. Like right here, I will show you this one here. You can see it's basically got two main stalks and then a recent skinnier stalk that it has sent up more recently. And then you can see like the two main ones they each sent up a couple side shoots and then when you go up each of those side shoots sent up more and like you can see here 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 multiple on the other side um, are all places that i have already cut back some blooms for bouquets so if we go to one of the ones i did not pinch back like this one, for example, you can see there's only one small main stem that branched off into two. This one branched off once, and then this one is just now beginning to send up some side shoots. So it looks like I've gotten one uh, one bloom that I was able to harvest off of this one. And that's, I mean, that's it all season. I don't see any other spots. And then if we go to another one, let's say this one, it's got one main stem, but then it quickly shot off into multiple more. And like even those more recent ones, not more recent, but even the, uh, like the kind of later ones, like not the, you know the very early one like it didn't send off any very early you know it looks like it put on a little bit more growth before it sent any side shoots off but even those you can tell like look at all of the stalks i'm hoping that you can see good enough like here is where i've cut a bloom here i've cut a bloom here i've cut a bloom at least five or six spots I see. And like I said, these have got powdery mildew. You know, they're, they're ready to be taken out. They're not looking the best, but we do have some pretty flowers still coming off of this plant. So, you know, I haven't taken it out yet. And as you can see, we do still have fresh green growth coming off. So, you know, I'm going to wait and see what else I can get off of this plant and save those for seed saving. And whenever I take this plant out, what I will do is just 
not compost the plant. I will just throw it in the trash so that we don't spread any disease. But let me show you another example. All right, let's go to this one here. So this one's a little close to another one, but if we look right here, we've got one main one that shot off into four main stems. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, looks like five blooms I've harvested off of this one. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's another one I harvested. I just didn't cut it all the way down. So six I've harvested. And then ten. About fifteen coming on. And then we've got three nice ones still on that I can harvest anytime. So, you know, that's, you know, around almost 20 blooms off of that one plant. And then if we come back over to one that I did not pinch, like this one here, we've got, it looks like I had one, that was probably one of the first ones that I harvested. I've got one bloom there that I harvested and that's it. I don't see any more. So that means these two yellow ones are the first ones this entire season. It does have a lot of side shoots. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's also got aphids I'm seeing. But so we've got six coming on, but hopefully you just see the massive difference between the ones that I've pinched and the ones that I did not. Okay, and then I want to show you one last example because some of these done a little bit better over here on this side of the garden because they got a little bit more sun. This one and this one. You can see this one went off into two very large stems and then they each let off, uh, sent off some side shoots and then, you know, so on and so on. So we've gotten many many harvested blooms off of this one i've counted about 15 just very quickly counting and there are many more blooms still on the plant many side shoots forming and you know again it's just a huge difference between these and the ones that i did not pinch back again here and this one's leaning over because it's been extremely windy and the plant is getting a little top heavy but we've got four main stems on this one and then hopefully you can see just all of the spots where we've had blooms flowers that we were able to harvest and there's one two three four five currently on the plant two or three about to bloom and still multiple multiple side shoots coming on. So yeah, that is why you should definitely pinch back your zinnias and any other flower that benefits from pinching. Make sure that it's one that benefits because there are some that if you pinch them, you will forfeit absolutely all of your blooms. But if it's something like zinnias, marigolds, you know, things like that, it's, it's pretty easy to do a Google search and find out what kind of flowers benefit from pinching back. And then just definitely do so because hopefully I've showed you it's it's definitely you know gonna benefit you and the number of blooms that you get thanks for watching if you learned anything I would love it if you would give my video a thumbs up it really does help and if you haven't already subscribe for more gardening videos in the future I post lots of videos about things like this um, you know just tips for beginner beginners and uh, you know seed saving videos garden tours you know how to prune this plant or that plant and things like that